right. I okay. haven't heard a whole lot about any of all of this, but I have heard a substantial amount. And I have still concluded the problem is a system of white supremacy. That's the conclusion I have come to, and I see no reason to come to any other conclusion at this point. But I do listen to people who are saying that's not the real problem, that there is a mysterious other problem of some type that is making this look like it's the problem, but it's not the real problem. So whatever the real problem is, I think will be revealed either directly and indirectly through people like yourself who are going beyond talking about the system of white supremacy, which is what I talk about, and say that some, like someone called me a few days ago and said the problems are some people who are actually operating from out of space somewhere. And that they are, you know, not Martians and whatnot. That's another gimmick that somebody is using. But there are people who are actually truly acting and have an effect on people right here, right now, who are really operating from another planet. Now, I don't know anything about that. I've heard it. I've heard it as far back as 40 years ago. I mean, when they first started talking about extraterrestrials and all that, and making movies about it and all that, and even when I was, uh, before I got in my teens, it was Flash Garden and all these people, and they say that's real. There are people who are now saying that's real. That's not fantasy. That's real. What you see in these old movies, that's real. And has been going on for some time, but people don't really know it. Now, I say I don't know anything about that. I do know something about the white supremacists firsthand, something I know about, not heard about or read about in somebody's book, but things I have experienced and witnessed with my own eyes, I know that white supremacy is real. So I'm just trying to deal with that. And so I see some evidence, hard evidence, of some other mysterious force, including the extraterrestrial. I say that the first order of business for the non-white people of this planet is to replace the system of white supremacy with justice. And I think that everything else will fall in place because I don't know of any religious group that has more power than those white people who believe in white supremacy. I don't. That's not, that has not been my experience. Hey, now, let me ch ch chime in. Do they have to believe in it? Can they just experience it uh, by osmosis? Oh, you could, but you have to be able to recognize what you're experiencing. I've experienced white supremacy. I've experienced white people mistreating black people. I've experienced that. I'm looking at it all the time. I'm going by, I'm a very, you know, country type, you know, country road type person. Uh, you know, I don't have all that sophisticated idea about, you know, what's going on on the other side of Jupiter and what kind of meetings they're having over there and all like that. I'm talking about, and I wrote a book about how to deal with what we're looking at right this minute and what we ought to be trying to look at beyond this minute and all the other minutes that are ever going to come, whether we're dealing with Martians or anybody else who is up to mistreating people. Because what I write in my book is all about banishing mistreatment, regardless of what form it takes. And the first order of business is to get rid of racism, because like I said on the back of my book, you're not going to get rid of any problem without getting rid of racism. Now, there'll be other problems and other mysterious people moving about doing this, that, and other, I guess. But I know that racism right now for non-white people, are the biggest problem that they face. Now, that doesn't say we shouldn't be working on other problems, too. But these problems have to be crystallized. They have to be made known by people who know what they're talking about and can point it out and, and start something in that direction. Because it always comes down to what I started this program with, that word, two-letter word, do. What do you do? After you make every analysis of who's doing what and all like that, you know, you got to have a blueprint. 
I tried to write a blueprint for what to do as an individual person about this prison system called the system of white supremacy. And that's the best that I know. Other people know better. And so when you know better, you do better. They should be acting on those projects. And I'll take an interest in them and try to see what the validity is there. But I still don't see how anybody's going to do anything without dealing with the system of white supremacy. I don't see any way to walk around it and get to something else or put this on the back burner. I don't see any way to do it. Now, maybe somebody can show me how to put racism on the back burner and then deal with the Illuminati. But I don't see how you can get racism out of the way and then deal with that. Because racism is going to stop any black person from doing anything that makes sense. The white supremacists will do that. 